is saying the ammonium whatever it's mixed already in here you recognize this liquid permanent in their liquid permanent the one that really jumped out at me here is soy trimonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide the soy trimonium chloride got me because all these years they had the soy trimonium chloride in this but on their labeling they never said anything about deep conditioning for a healthy shine soy complex so it put one of their ingredient in here that's I guess active agent in their demi that's not supposed to cause a permanent change soy trimonium chloride and calling it soy complex and you see soy as consumer you get all excited and you think it's all natural and it's mixed with with ammonia so deep conditioning for healthy shine you think it's going to be rich and beautiful not knowing that really compounds in this that's causing change in our hair and we're already doing it with the sodium hydroxide from the relaxer making this the box look all attractive for the consumer to just say yes and get it and then they're not even thinking about the care of our hair as African American. No compounds are found in all these different things that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just in the percentage that is different, you know, the amount they use. So I did this, which is silicic acid in this Neutrogena thing. And you know, silicic acid, when you hear about it, the, the skin thing, like I said before, this has the silicic acid, but it also have down here the sodium hydroxide. Um, but the percentage, I don't know. But you know, this is not left on your skin for like 15, 20 minutes. You just do it and it comes off. I found high sodium hydroxide in toothpaste. Didn't know that, but it's in there. I did this one, the sea breeze. You have the sea breeze has the silicic acid. And you know, when this goes on the skin, it kind of has that tingling sensation, really cool, depending on what you're doing with your face, it burns. Then I did uh, the Nair. You know when you do Nair and you put it on your skin, what happens? Two minutes, it just melts away, that hair, like nothing. And sodium hydroxide is in this, and you know this is like super, super, super harsh. What else did I do? Some clients, after the sodium hydroxide, the color, we want bonding. Chemical people, yes, it's cheaper, it's faster, it's easier, but sewing tracks, the way to go. Before I forget, let me show you how they broke this down. How the ingredients in, in the developer, this is the old one, how long the ingredients is. You see that? And then you have this summed up in like maybe 10 or so in the new one. Quick story, I had a client that was in here listening to me talk about it because you know I was upset I was crying and all oh so she felt sorry she went home and she was talking to her dad about it and her dad asked her is that what Karen put in your aunt's hair you know I said yeah she missed out on this one because I just started to use this one took her hair out her hair is natural I feel like that small amount of sodium hydro in that color the silic silicic acid and the trimonium trimonium now I'm having memory loss I can't even say the word but you know what I'm saying react to her hair and took her hair off. but they don't come back and tell you anything they dog you in another salon they dog me so much in these salons around town even the one that I said kill my soul and my drive went to a salon that I used to work at and oh look what Karen did to my hair oh my god and she's just boohoo crying other stylists hair and they just you know having a fun time because you know the clients are now going to them so that's good money in their pocket um, and speaking of money trust me this killed me with the tough economy losing the the clients over the colors I had to do free treatments free trims free this free that just to keep the clients staying with me but guess what they still go and when they see on the street you hardly want to talk to you and I've experienced that there's nothing wrong with Clairol because I've been using Clairol for so many years. But I think that Clairol need, need to keep in mind that African Americans are a large percentage of their consumer buying their products. And we're using sodium hydroxide all the time. If you're then putting sodium hydroxide in a color and we're not aware that this is in the color because when he told me that this replaced this, I never had a problem with this. And I'm thinking that, you know, okay, I read the direction to see how it's used and that's fine. They need to do a little bit more research where we are concerned. Just to keep in mind that we're putting the things on our head um, and over time it can cause damage, which it did. I also want to say I'm just one voice. One voice don't work. If there's anybody out there that's having or have had 
these type of issues that I had, I would love to hear from you because together our voices can, can make a change. I think um, while all of this was going on, I called the FDA, the Better Business Bureau. Actually, I called the White House and they told me to call those people and the, um, the Procter & Gamble, which I did. And I called some local people um, and a local lawyer actually was telling me we should check the distributor out. And I'm like, why would I want to do that? He said, just like how your clients can sue you, you can sue the distributor. And I was like, oh, that's why they stopped talking to me. I don't want to sue anybody. I just want my reputation back. I don't have uh, the time and I definitely don't have the money to sue. And I remember Whoopi Goldberg saying, sue people. It's such a drawn up process. And who have time for that? You know, the clients that are so mad at me. And if you ever see this video, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Um, I had your, the health of your hair in my best interest. I didn't mean to go taking your hair out with these products. Anyone who knows me know that education as far as hair is concerned is really important to me. And I'll jump in a car at any given time, drive cross country or fly cross country to go um, get some um, education about new products and new techniques and stuff like that. And I'm paying thousands and thousands of dollars to learn and taking people's hair out. And then you have salons around here that are using the cheapest of products and their clients here are still on their head. So that's why I felt like, why am I still doing this? What am I getting from this? It's like I'm starting all over again. But then, you know, I took a year break from it because I, I, I was pregnant and I didn't want to stress myself or my baby. I wanted to have a happy pregnancy, first child and all, and it was fabulous. That's why I have this natural thing going on here and you know, using Miss Jessie's products. Very, very, very good products. It does what it say it's gonna do. Natural hair people, you could definitely try Miss Jessie. With that said, I've lived by this. I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. Maya Angelou sent me this. Actually, her people sent me this. And I just think this is so, as um, Oprah, who will say profound, a very profound quote. I can be changed by what happens to me, but I refuse to be reduced by it. Refusing to be reduced by it. So I'm um, taking a chance, putting this out there, hoping that the right people see this. I said to some stylists, uh, you know, talking about it, and all I hear is, clear all is for white people. How are you gonna say clear all is for white people when you're using their jazzins and your beautiful brown and whatever? You know, it shouldn't be black and white. That makes no sense. And if Clairol is really for white people, Clairol need to put it on their box. Clairol need to put it on their box. But look at it. All these things, these things we use, the uh, shampoos, the, uh, the foods we buy, and every, all these things have the same compounds in order for it to be what it is on the shelves. I just want to say also, us African-American women has the highest rate of cancer. And you say, why is that? Sodium hydroxide, we're putting on our scalp all the time. And right after, we're putting this, the colors. That's okay. But then you have the gluing tracks that you want to put right on after you just open your, your cuticles up. And when you put that stuff on it, you can see them flinching. It's burning. Something is wrong. They're, we're eating bad foods, all these processed foods. And they're saying organic and soy and whatever. What's organic about something that's sitting on a shelf for... Um, these shells for years without spoiling. There's chemicals in it to keep it preserved. The same chemicals that are used in these products, same chemicals that are used to preserve the food, you know that these chemicals are used to um, put oils in our car, used to preserve the pools that we swim in, used in the stuff that we mop our floors. So think about it. Doing my research, I realized that we're killing ourselves slowly. When I looked at all these ingredients, they're tested on animals. Some of them cause like liver problems. Um, they cause all kind of stuff in, um, to the gallbladder and um, so many other things this stuff causes. You have little fine follicles on the scalp, okay? And they, they can seep through into the scalp. Now, these companies need to do a little bit better okay? and they need to research the different races it's not only one type of people our race that's using their stuff i just hope our stylists that have had problems with this color 
we can get together and make a change with this thing.